Uh oh, where there's smoke, there's fire, right, Keith? That's right. That's why you need to have a fire extinguisher on board your boat. Depending on the size of the boat, you may need several. Uh, Nick's holding this here. When you look at your fire extinguishers, you want to make sure you check the gauge here. Make sure the needle's in the green. Once it drops down into this red area, go ahead and pitch this and get yourself a new one. Uh, one other thing I would like to point out, let me grab this here real quick. There is a serial number on here, all right? If you've got one that's a couple years old, this happens to be a Kitty, K-I-D-D-E. Go to their website and you might have one in your garage, you might want to have one underneath your kitchen sink, in your boat, in the galley. Just, uh, they had a national recall on these. It had to do with uh, the pull pin and these things getting uh, inadvertently activated. So if you've got an older kitty fire extinguisher, just get your serial number, go to their website. If it falls in that group, let them know. They'll FedEx you a brand new one to replace it. And then you just put your old one back in the box and send it back to them. But um, I think Nick's gonna show us a little demo here. Yeah, He lit a hard. flare off a little while ago, so he started a fire, so now you can put one out. Yeah, so everybody hopefully has a fire extinguisher in their house or in your boot. You're supposed to have a certain amount of them depending on the boot. And chances are you've never pulled a fire extinguisher. And hopefully you never have to, but it's scary. It's You think that it, it can't happen to you until it does and it all happens really quick. So you at least want to know what to do in that situation. It's very simple. You literally can't mess it up. Let me grab the But here. you need to make sure that it's full preliminary and this is how you set off a fire extinguisher you've got that pin right there and it has the, uh, the little piece piece of plastic you pull that then from there it's alive and you're gonna want to stand what is it Keith between six and eight feet away and you're gonna want to point at the base of the fire so let's pretend that that little clump of weeds there is the fire all you do you just push that, there's not gonna be explosion or anything. You just, just like that. So there's a little saying of pass, right? You're gonna pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. You wanna sweep back and forth at the base of the fire. Don't be shooting up top of the flames. You gotta hit down low underneath it. Go ahead and pin it again. You're gonna kill those poor weeds. <laughs> well, hopefully you find this helpful. Like I said before, hopefully you never need to use a fire extinguisher, but if you do, nothing scary about it. It's not gonna blow up in your face. Go ahead, grab that thing, pull the pin, go to work, pass. What does pass stand for? Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. There you go, so, you learn something new every day. Captain Keith, check it out. See you guys on the water. I guess.